Excuse my merry porter who makes but sport with us. This is often our custom. Your porter oft denies your entrance. Uh, yes, yes. yes, yes, he does. <laughs> not this festive. No, it's not. Keep trying the door. Ah, hello, Senor our Porter. We thank you for this jolly jest, but let us our gayness end, because your master and his company stand in the street. Well, then let them walk from whence they came, lest they catch cold on their feet. Okay, well, that, that's quite the fun, but let us in, huh? Right, I'll tell you when, you tell me, wherefore. Wherefore? Now, now he's quipping, wherefore do yeah, we yeah, want yeah, to enter? Romeo, he's quipping, wherefore do we want to enter our own house? Wherefore, he asks for our dinner, fool! Romeo, keep trying the door. All right, Mr. Funny Porter, we have very important business associates, and we have not dined today. No, here today, you shall not come again tomorrow. Then I get to tell you again. Hey, you know, I think you're all swine. Oh! oh. Ugly, misshapen swine, the dog not deserve to breed God's good air. Go! Get away from the door! You pollute my thoughts! Gentlemen, I must admit this is not our accustomed porter. Uh. I'll ask. Porter, who art thou? Speak! I am porter for this time, man, and know me. My name is Romeo. Isn't that the name of your personal assistant? Yeah. No. No, it's, oh, Dromeo. Yeah, hey, Dromeo, did you hear that? Yeah, thou villain, thou stolen both my office and my name. The one never got me credit, the other 